Welcome to Confessions of a Crate Digger. This edition, we're going to discuss an album. Well, we're going to discuss a label to start with, to be honest. So we're going to tell you the stories. You want to sit comfortably, get yourself a nice brew, tea, coffee, but pause the video, because otherwise it kind of doesn't work. So what am I going to tell you? Once upon a time, there was a record company. Its name was Motown. It produced some great music for the 60s. There was some fabulous stuff. Uh, Smoking and Miracles. Uh, we got uh, Marvin Gaye. We had Diana Ross and the Supremes. Started off as just the Supremes, but then Diana Ross got sort of highlighted. Yeah, we'll come back to that. And then we well, what else do we have? Oh, we had uh, oh Four Tops, The Temptations. Oh, great, great, great stuff. All going on on this record label. That was the 60s. Great songs being made. Got to the 70s and things started to, you know, taste change and artists moved on. One artist that moved on in particular was Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye decided he wanted to make a concept album because he was not happy about things going on around him. It was called What's Going On. Uh, What's Going On was produced in 1971. And I say produced because it was produced by Marvin Gaye. He was the first one to produce his own material. And uh, he used various members of the Funk Brothers, which was the in-house band. Um, but only selected ones, though. So that's what was going on. But the guy who headed up the label, Mr. Gordy, was not happy. In fact, Mr. Gordy actually tried to stop the project, uh, as I understand from reports. And but it went ahead anyway. And when he realised the success, then of uh, the song, what's going on, the whole album became a reality. And uh, Marvin Gaye was able to do basically what he wanted. So that's 1971. Move on to 1973. The darling of Motown, uh, if you believe the reports, was. Diana Ross, and as a result, she was initially part of the Supremes, became a solo artist in her own right. It was a gradual process. It was Supremes, then it was Diana Ross and the Supremes, and then it came Diana Ross. And the Supremes did a bit, and that was that, and Diana Ross had a very, and has, a very successful solo career. And the album we're looking at today is simply this. This album here, the uh, Diana Ross album, Touch Me in the Morning. Uh, from 1973. Uh, it was basically uh, not her first release, but it's certainly got some classic hits on it. Uh, Touch Me In The Morning, obviously, and All Of My Life is all on there. But what is interesting, which brings the Marvin Gaye and Diana Ross thing together, is simply this. She recorded a song that Marvin Gaye had done from this album, which they didn't want to make originally. And, you know, she did this song. She's got the song on here, Save The Children, which is from that album. So that's basically the story. And of course, the rest is history. So that's the album here, and I'm going to put a few attached tracks to this video. You want to check out some more, and um, enjoy the music, and I'll catch you next time.